Brandon Branham, serve as Assistant City Manager and CTO for the City of Peachtree Corners in Georgia. We're a suburb of the Metro Atlanta area. Uh, here today, uh, talking about Curiosity Lab, a city-funded initiative using public infrastructure in a living laboratory environment to allow for companies to come, test, develop, deploy, demonstrate emerging technologies in the smart city IoT space. Uh, working with partners such as T-Mobile and Bosch and Cisco, Qualcomm, all to bring this technology to life for communities. Uh, here at CES today, we're actually in APMA's booth, which is the Auto Parts Manufacturers Association, where they just unveiled uh, Project Arrow, which is a Canadian-built vehicle showcasing over 50 of their companies uh, in the technology that goes into building vehicles, all Canadian from the battery to the drive system. Uh, we're here with them as we continue to build our relationships and recruit companies to come into the Southeast and expand and grow the ecosystem. Uh, we're a very business-friendly environment to drive economic development for the city. We're here at CES with our friends from APMA in Canada, where we continue to build a relationship to drive business into the Southeast and grow the economic value for Peachtree Corners and provide a business-friendly environment for companies to grow. Hi, I'm Simon West. I'm Chief Experience Officer at Beep. Uh, Beep is a provider of shared mobility services leveraging autonomous shuttles. So we operate autonomous self-driving shuttles in communities around the country to help solve the first mile, last mile problem connect residents with goods, with services uh, in their communities. Today, this week here at CES, we made a couple of exciting announcements, both regarding next generation vehicles. So our partner Holon uh, launched their next generation autonomous shuttle uh, on Wednesday in the North Hall. And then we also announced a partnership with uh, global automotive manufacturer ZF regarding their shuttle uh, here on the show floor as well. This next generation of shuttles um, brings with it automotive grade manufacturing, mass production, uh, along with uh, next level ADS systems that will allow us to run uh, these shuttles in a broader range of use cases, longer battery life, longer time between charging, higher speeds, uh, and a range of passenger capacities, allowing us to solve these first mile, last mile issues for our customers, who include public transportation authorities, private developers, municipalities, business campuses, and so forth. Hey folks, this is Dave Stubbs, President of Neutron Controls. We're here at CES. We're working with Infineon Technologies. And what we've created is a flexible ECU platform for battery management. Uh, so we're, here's our demo. Uh, we're, we're controlling lithium ion batteries with the functional safety controller Oryx from Infineon. So this, this platform can be uh, design chip down and whatever interfaces the customer wants to control whatever chemistry you want. Could be hydrogen fuel cell, could be lithium ion. You tell us and we can work with you. This, uh, we, we have chargers here, we have motors here. We're starting to work with uh, the latest device, TC4XX from Infineon as well to perform AI and advanced uh, prediction of, uh, of uh, uh, battery failure and heat. Uh, so that's what we're up to here at CES, and really appreciate your attendance. Thanks. Samsung Display Flex Hybrid is a new prototype device with a display that's both foldable and slidable. The left side of the concept smart mobile device can be unfolded to reveal the display, while the right side can then slide outwards for even more screen real estate. It's being shown off here today at CES 2023 alongside a new 17-inch slidable display as well as automotive panels designed for self-driving cars. It's not difficult understanding how this device can be unfolded for a small tablet experience and then unslide when you want to enjoy a film or game on a larger screen.